Hello, this is Divine Sunshine. This is the Welcome to Divinely Speaking Unplugged. All right, today's topic is being divine does not mean being flawless. A lot of times when we think about being divine, uh, we think that we got to be picture perfect. Everything has got to be right. We got to do everything that's alignment with spirit. Uh, we have to make sure that we we, we talk. Uh, the things, that the information that we are giving out, uh, the frequency that we're giving out, the frequency that we're receiving. Everything has to be pure. Everything has to be in divine order. All those things. And Spirit told me one day, say, you know what? Nobody's asking you to be picture perfect. Nobody's asking you to be flawless. You know, you think about like Beyonce and it looks like the perfect, the hair is together, that makeup is looking like she's been her face been beat by God himself and you know not a hair out of place the outfit is banging it's all in there all together and put together tight and right the body is snatched up you know and everything and it's like you know what in trying to be flawless we are creating more flaws we are also bringing up the traumas. We are also not really looking and valuing ourselves for the way we are and the way we are actually showing up. Therefore, there is that's not being really divine. Divine is really being able to take the hits, take what has been given to you by God and learning how to be able to in the, the theme of Beyonce, grow and make lemonade out of it. That's truly being divine. Seeing how you fall, but see how you can get yourself back up. That's being divine. You know, us being on earth, I always say this is a teachable planet. This is always about teaching. This is always about growing. Through those growing pains, that's being divine. Learning how to be able to grow into it. That's being divine. So when we're thinking about being really divine, you know, it's really about trying at all costs or in, in any situation how we are going to link back up with that light, that true light that's within us and being able to shine through things regardless. That is truly being divine. You know, when we got that bad hair day, how can I sit up there and put a hair wrap or a bow on this or slap some gel on and still go out there and shine and rock with what I got? That's being divine. How when they I got denied for something or something didn't go my way, how do I pick myself up and say we're still going to push through regardless? That is being divine because we're still finding ways to find the light. To find a way to be bright, to find a way to still shine through things regardless of the way things are showing up to us. And we're finding ways to kind of elevate, to levitate, to go ascend above those things. That is being divine. When somebody tells you something going off in you and you know that you don't actually deserve that and you find yourself not going on that person's level... That's being divine. Or somebody tells you something and you find a nice way to enlighten that person, to read them back in a nice way. That's being divine too as well. As long as you're standing in your truth and it's not come from ego base and you want to set the person right and you want to have justice and balance and harmony in that situation by just telling them, hey, this is the truth. That is being divine. A lot of times we look at the spirituality and we use that and we hide behind it. We don't really try to express ourselves. Well, you know, that's not really being namaste. That's not really truly being kumbaya in all of this. But is that truly being divine? Maybe that person needs to get that record set straight by you. Maybe they need that piece of truth that you got to set the record by in them that truth because maybe where they are they're a little off centered maybe that person is in a bad mood or has a funky attitude and maybe you bring that red sunshine and find a way to make them laugh or seeing the lighter side of it that is a way of being divine all of these things is but when we're trying to reach perfection in a world that's 
really is not based upon or founded upon being perfection, that's when we stop being divine. Learning how to take what we have and elevate it and take it to the next level. That's when we are truly being divine. All right, then. I just wanted to leave you with this message so you can be able to look at and be give yourself permission. I said that before about you not doing things all perfectly. I feel like that's coming back again and how we got to surrender and give into that and let ourselves know, hey, it's okay. It's okay where we are. So if you're interested in getting a reading with me, you can go to Divine, uh, Divine Unisouls 11co If you want to have a past life regression session where you look into your past, this life, or either other lifetimes, whichever way your spirit pretty much draws attention to you uh, as we do our session, we can be able to be able to expand where you are to get more answers so you can be able to connect the dots to see why things are happening in your life the way they are. Most of the time when you got something that's unexplained, it's pretty much due to something that happened in the past or in a past life as well. So we go in there, we unearth it, we look at things and we heal it and we try to, uh, and we go in there and rebalance it um, as well. Um, So we heal, we reveal and we heal. Okay, through the process of doing that. So if you're interested in doing that or either you have some pain in your body, some emotions or traumas that are being housed there, you can do that as well. You can go to AshantiWellnessCenter.com and you could book uh, for an online service that way too. Make sure that you are following me on this podcast too as well. Remember, I upload weekly uh, messages on my podcast from Spirit. So make sure that you are doing that as well. And don't forget to also go over to my YouTube channel and to click like, share, and subscribe to Divinely Speaking Unplug the YouTube channel. All right? Okay, thank you so very much for stopping by and listening. I'm so glad you found me. And as always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste and namago. Go out there and shine.